To enter diagnostics, hold down 0 and start while turning on the unit. You should see 640 tests on the display. To test the mode switch, move the switch up and down and check to make sure the correct mode is displayed. To test the control panel, press 0, then press these buttons in the following order. To check the ROM version, press 1. This keyboard's ROM is version 1.22. This may look like 122, but that is because there is no room for the decimal point. To test the ROM checksum, press 2. You should get the OK screen. To test the sound, press 4. This will play a tone at minimum volume. Press 5. This will play a tone at medium volume. Press 6. This will play a tone at maximum volume. Press 7. This will play a tone sweep at medium volume. Press 8. This will play a tone sweep at maximum volume. To test the MIDI, connect a MIDI cable to both the MIDI in and out ports. Press 9. You should get the OK screen. To test the LEDs, press tone. To test the keys, press rhythm and then press each key. To test the AC adapter detection test, make sure there are good batteries installed in the unit, then unplug the DC jack from the back of the unit. Press song bank. You should see battery on the screen. Plug the DC jack back into the unit. Press song bank. You should see AC jack on the screen. To test the LCD, use the following buttons. One key play left will toggle between the odd and even segments on the top row. One key play right will toggle between the odd and even segments on the bottom row. Step 1 will turn all segments on. Step 2 will turn all segments off. Step 3 will cycle through 8 different screens, enabling certain groups of segments at a time. To test the software power off function, press part select. The unit should turn off. The diagnostics are complete. To run the PCB test, make sure there are good batteries installed in the unit, connect a MIDI cable to both the MIDI in and out ports, connect a sustain pedal, then hold down 1 and start while turning on the unit. You should see PCB tests on the display for as long as you hold down either button. When you release both of the buttons, the screen will tell the status of the AC adapter jack and key lighting lines LX1, LX3, LY0, and LY2 should activate. Connect a power supply that can send low pulses. The AC adapter status should change. Each test will be cycled by sending a low pulse through the power supply. The following four tests sets each keypad output 8 through 11 high for testing that those connections work as they should. The next tests are the ROM checksum test, version number check, MIDI connection test, and sustain pedal deactivate test. Note that the key lighting lines deactivate when the MIDI test is initiated. Press down on the sustain pedal when advancing to the sustain pedal activate test. The next test is the K00 test. Unfortunately, I could not figure out how to pass this test, and testing stops if any test fails, so I cannot continue past this point.